Inquisitor. Oh, by the way, I got your real lyrium. Are you happy about that? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? I found her ruffles. Oh my gosh. Deal her in. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing what? cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. <laughs> There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit-forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No, boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? What's happening here? Why do we suddenly have a scene with everybody? That's so nice. Well, not everybody. I've noticed that Sarah's not here. Mm. Just remember, I'm still new to this game. Don't worry, you'll pick it up in no time. So shiny. Even Cole is here. Why is Sarah not here? Vivienne? Solus? <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. <laughs> What do I have to say? I've got one for you. The clan decided to camp near this ruined fortress right on the edge of the Tirashan, dark as the bottom of a well. The Keeper swore up and down it was safe, but some of the hunters started hearing noises in the middle of the night. They ran out of there fast as you think, bare asses shining in the moonlight the whole way back to their village. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. <laughs> that was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. <laughs> and the dealer takes everything. I win again. Wow. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. No, I'll watch you guys. I'm not losing any more coin to Josephine, but I have got to see this. Oh Don't my god! Say a word, dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antivan, Commander. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. <laughs> it comes off. I didn't know it came off. Are, are you talking about his clothes? You're talking about his clothes, right? Right? Oh man, Sarah, Viv, and Solus are missing out. <laughs> I'm 
glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. Thank you for hosting this. Wow, this is so sudden that I'm... Oh, hi, hi, Iron Bull. He's staring at us. Wow. This just made me realize we've never stopped working the entire time in the Inquisition. Wow. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. <laughs> at, at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I'm up for one right now. <laughs> Every time I play, I increase the odds of winding up like Cullen. Well, you're never more alive than when you're about to lose your pants, my friend. Oh, wow. Who's that? Did I win? Oh! <laughs> Sarah was here! She seems like a total party girl. I was like, where is she? That was so nice! Thank you, Varric, for hosting that. Do you want to know about the Red Larium, though? If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. I don't know if, uh... Ooh! Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm... I'm not making any promises here. Ask. Uh. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. You don't have to see each other every day. It seems to work out for you guys. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean. Not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. What? Bianca is married? Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalnas. Surface dwarves so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for anyway. Were you that close? That you nearly got married? Oh, wow. The one that got away, huh? All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. Can't even just say yes? Well, it already sounds like a yes. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the Guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. Hmm, especially since Bianca is from such a conservative family, or she married into one, so... I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here. Nice little bit of history on Varric. Varric doesn't talk about himself very often. So it's it's rare that we get to hear something like that. Hmm. Although, it does still make me think a little bit more about what we... You know, the important thing about what we actually found in the Deep Roads, which is that Larias got out, and that's probably how Corypheus got out. Nothing we can do about it now, but... <sighs> Damn. Almost wish you can go back in time to stop that, huh? Time magic? Maybe let's not think of along those lines again. Alright, we have a perk. Do we want to open up the third potion slot? We could. Th was there anything else I really wanted? I don't think so. It's stuff like this counts, but if, if I don't buy anything, then whatever. 
more inventory space. I think I'm okay for now. Definitely have to go clean it up in a bit. Additional 50% applies retroactively. No, that's experience. <laughs> Tier 1 herbs. No. Ten percent increase to all defenses. That could make things a little bit easier. I think I'll open up the, the potion slot. Although, will I actually make potions for everybody is a different thing. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the useful stuff here in the Inquisition section. Exclusive training, combat ability point, inventory capacity, or potion. Let's do potion. Okay, now we can have Lyrium potions and regular health potions at the same time. What a... <laughs> they make it seem like it's such a treat. Mauvern's arrived. With supplies assured, Mauvern and his clan have set up an extensive settlement and become a welcome stop at the edge of the Silent Plains. There is no reported theft, as they have no need. But there is legendary brawling, as they cannot stop. Devinter is concerned, but for now, they seem to be tolerating Mauvern's presence, or at least are able to ignore it. Good. Destroy Adamant Fortress. The Chargers were able to tear down what was left of the fortress. The demons could have been a problem, but the support forces Commander Cullen dispatched kept them off our backs quite nicely. With the extra time the Inquisition forces gave us, we were able to salvage a few interesting items from the wreckage of Adamant, including an old map of the surrounding area with Grey Warden supply caches marked. Hopefully it comes in handy. Good. Oh, but we have to go claim the cache? Wait, I want to do Sarah's thing. I want to do her thing because I... Yeah, we should... We got that a long time ago, we should do it. Speak with Minister Belize at Party Inquisitor. I have the time and place of the Marquis' party. You must find a way to speak with Minister Belize privately about ratifying the Du Paraquets' return to nobility. It is the last step we need. She holds the success of this entire endeavor in her hands. I haven't even seen the Countess or whoever it was yet. Hold up, okay? Oh, yes. A battalion for Sarah and Vershiel. Commander, we have verified Sarah's claims about Vershiel. Several displacements of refugees were delivered in what appears to be an attempt to destabilize land claims. While there would be no direct gain for involving the Inquisition, increasing our presence could have unexpected results. In any case, it is a trivial matter to divert troops to march through the city. Retinue of our best will make an impression. Let's... All right. Any more on the Ferelden side? Just so I can make sure that one side is at least cleared out. Oh, Dorian's request. Oh, I wanted L Liliana for this one, right? Look into this carefully, quietly. Don't alert the Venatori to our existence. Inquisitor. Is that it for the Ferelden side? I think so. Yeah. I don't know why some of them remain. I wish they would go away if they're complete. Makes my life a little bit easier. Now we want someone for Josephine. Which one sounds like a Josephine kind of thing? Investigate ancient laboratory, continuing research? Find the book? Let's see. A neatly filed request form, copied in triplicate and delivered to the appropriate parties. Request tissue samples from carnivores found in central Orlais and along the outskirts of the western approach. See attached list. Soil samples from surrounding areas. Access to field reports containing references to local fauna. Copy of Gregor Worthing's Hala in the Heather. Wolves in the Woods. A naturalist's observations. Apologies, but I lost my copy when the circle rebelled. Purpose. The commander has expressed satisfaction with the practical applications of my previous findings. To continue my research, I will conduct an in-depth exploration of the Inquisitor's environmental impact, specifically the sealing of fade rifts on local species. Elisma? What? Information. Josephine should be able to do that, although trading partners. Buying stuff? Buying stuff? Okay. Inquisitor. This is a longer one. All right. We're good for now. Let me spend a little bit of time organizing my inventory again, probably. Claim the Grey Warning Cache. Alright, alright. We're making a lot of progress in our 
companion stuff, and even clearing out the random fetch quests too. Yeah, probably about time... I... I guess... I mean... I want to get back to the main quest soon, but I'm having a lot of fun with the companion stuff too, so I don't mind just, you know, going straight with that. Mm, we're still... we still haven't been here yet, Empress du Leon. And then Cassandra's been waiting a little bit. I want to finish this one at least. This one, <laughs> we're just leaving it dangling here in the middle. There's a party going on. And then this is for Cullen. It's all about Red Lyrium. Hmm. So overwhelming, there's so much everywhere. Okay, let me do some inventory management. Hey, I finally got a new armor, look at that. See, this is my old one, and my new one is differently colored. I had this sitting in the storage for a while, and I forgot about it, so my old one, thank you for serving me for so long, but I must part with you now, thank you. Alright, let's get going again. It's been a while, so everyone at the war table, everything should be complete. Let's go help Sarah, because I feel like, man, that one has been sitting there for a really long time. I just completely, it just slipped in my mind. She's been waiting patiently for me for a while, even though I did indulge in her pranking everybody. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Because I'm assuming after the war mission, like, that's not- that's not it, right? There's more. First of all, we probably gotta actually talk to Sarah. In a while. Continuing research. A formally submitted report. Current progress and findings. Some animals in regions with closed rifts exhibit fewer altered behaviors, but the results are inconsistent. Several anomalies and hunting patterns suggest a breach still impacts local wildlife. Furthermore, some species persist in erratic behaviors. I suspect that both the opening and closing of rifts cause fluctuations in the veil that continue to disturb their natural instincts. Long-term effects still unknown. Studying the flight patterns of local songbirds may yield further results. Additional notes. I gave... Commander Cullen a 50-page report outlining ways to counteract aggressive behavior in several species. <laughs> Does he have time to read about that? Very interesting, but I don't know if he's gonna have time for that. Battalion for Sarah and Virtual. We march without incident, although I have it on good authority that there were many closed-door meetings among Virtual nobility. Several useful names have sent diplomatic envoys, and potential future gains may be impressive. Do not tell Sarah I said so. <laughs> Cullen. Sarah, she seems dumb, but she isn't. She's surprisingly good at the whole mm -mm, managing people and relationships thing. She just doesn't word it in like a nice, uh, organized way, that's all. Dorian's request. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where these Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on your map, should you pass by any on your travels. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> okay. Hey, maybe that's where we'll find more Venatori tomes? Maybe. Let's set up some new ones. Claim Grey Warden Cache, Inquisitor. For information gleaned from the wreckage of the Adamant Fortress, the Inquisition has learned of a cache of Grey Warden supplies. This will help in fighting Darkspawn. This is a long one, my gosh. The area is dangerous. We want a lot of people to go pick it up, or we just want a small team to go in and out quickly. Cullen's actually takes faster. It's just the cash, though, right? Because I'm pretty sure the previous quest to this one was that we cleared out the area. Yeah, we destroyed the Adamant Fortress. Uh, I still have a leaning towards doing a stealthy one, even if it takes Let's longer. Let's see what we have. Dwarven slaves in Venatori hands. Hold up, hold up. Find source of dark spawn attacks. Hmm. This is a very short one. Inquisitor. The Darkspawn at Val Gamord have been slain, but it remains unclear what brought these creatures to the surface. There is no obvious sign, and I am concerned that they might still pose a danger. Marquis Buffon has made clear her wishes that we now depart, which leaves me even more suspicious, as most would welcome further help in these dangerous times. The Grey Wardens have volunteered to assist with the investigation of this mystery in whatever capacity the Inquisition deems most fitting. We await your orders. Is that one of the new Grey Wardens in charge now? Lieutenant? Lieutenant Suzanne? Clutch sack. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Let the Grey Wardens help. Mm, Liliana scouts. Josephine can examine the finances of nobles nearby. Huh, this is an option I wouldn't normally pick, but there is a noble involved in this one. 
it could be an interesting angle to go with. Sh sure. Let us begin. So one more for Colin then. One thing that sounds Colony. Which one would it be? Investigate. Well, Dwarven slaves in Venatory hands. Report from one of Colin's forward scouts. Sightings in the north of Red Templars with armor and weapons adorned with Dwarven runes. There are no known entrances to the deep roads in that area, and no missives from Orzammar about missing traders. But they keep next to non-existent records of surface dwarves. The Venatori may be making use of Dwarven slaves, possibly from Tevinter. Not their usual preference, but also not the first unusual thing they've done. Recommend further investigation. Hmm... Colin? I don't think Colin's forces are all entirely just about being barbaric and stuff. Like, even this one is from Colin's scouts. Investigation. Further investigation in force. Mm, okay. To work? You let me know how it goes. Okay. All right. Get to work, everybody. Thank you very much. And I think... I will, yes. Let's talk to Sarah about the march. Venatori killed with Dorian. Oh, Dorian's very happy about that. Good. Good, good, good. Sarah! You guys are all holed up so far away all the time. And I'm still mad about her window not being one that we can actually walk out of. Like, what's the point of making that window open if we can't do that? I'm still mega salty about it. <laughs> Why do you even have it open then? Gosh, I bet Sarah uses it. For sure. Wardens harm their own and fall to mortal. Oh, we haven't talked to Cole after we came back from the thing either. I'll do that when we come back. I'll ask around again tomorrow. Hey Sarah, how are you? Oh. Welcome back. Oh. Hold up. I wanted to talk to Sutherland first. Because he seems to every time we talk to him, he has a quest and stuff, right? And there's more people around the table. Can you believe this armor? It must have cost two houses. It's all right. Kind of heavy. Looks good on you. You too, Voth. I can't wait for the next job. Yeah, that's the armor we got them from Colin. Inquisitor, this gear is the best. I never thought, well, we'll be worth it, I swear. Good. A test of metal in the crew. Inquisitor. He didn't even request anything of me verbally. We just got a new mission from talking to him. No, they don't. <laughs> Sarah, how are you doing? You know, I feel like of everybody, Sarah probably has the best room out of everybody, doesn't she? Everyone's just sort of standing around, but she's really made this place her own. And it's pretty. It's pretty. I hear Vachelle was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. <laughs> yes, my pockets are completely empty right now. Who's putting up the reward for this? Don't know. Sometimes it's past the hat. Sometimes it's I lifted this from Master's vault. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Job done. Time to get what we're owed. One second. I'm not ready to go just yet. Your choice, yeah? Only so long it'll stay hidden. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly read the thing again so we can get some familiarity with it because it's been 20 million years. Oh, <laughs> they need to give me the initial thing too. Yeah, Inquis Inquisition troops march through Vergeshell without incident. She asked us to order a march through the city. Still waiting to go get that reward for marching through Vergeshell. Got something against free money? Let's go. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Let's bring some fun people. Who does Sarah like? Does Sarah like Dorian? Dorian Varric? The more easygoing people? I I feel like Iron Bowl and- Well, we had Iron Bowl and Sarah already for the dragon stuff. Next time we should bring other people too, you know, let them relish in what it's like to slay dragons. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Hmm? Quiet yourself. We're here to help. Help? 
Had enough help. I complain about a fight and suddenly I'm an agent or something. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh. Oh. All right, I see we're welcomed here. By mercenaries. Did we get tricked? Did we fall into a trap? Oh! I've made a very big error in today's party composition. There isn't a single melee person. Hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheath our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. This bag, what's your name? Who are you? A noble? There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. Despite your foreign nature, as Inquisitor, you are a social peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Arse biscuit. <sighs> Quite. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's back up a little bit. If I remember right, this thing was, there was something going on in this city, in, in Vershell. It was something related to, like, nobles. Like, there was dissent. And that's why we ordered the march through it, to calm things down and scare the nobles or something, right? And then we have this noble right in front of us here, who has just killed some people. Right in front of me. You were up to something in Vichelle, Harmond. What was it? If you mean bettering my wealth and position, I'm always seeking that. By getting people hurt? <sighs> Lady Shell Morveau and I were jockeying for the land south of Vershell. To claim land, you must populate it. My people encouraged hers to leave. Her people answered in kind, etc. Really, it was all terribly standard displacement until your troops seemed to change the balance. Well played. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. Noble disputes. I don't think... Well... Up until now, I don't have much of a... Um, leaning either way. It, this guy d definitely seems annoying already, but uh, we'll, we'll listen to him a little bit more first. The servants you killed. They did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts. My friends! Mm, that That's is a big one. entirely true. Well, that should be that then! You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Tell the snot splash no already, not saying again. That doesn't seem very reasonable of him. He's the one who murdered people. Ooh. I don't think... Mm, well... What would you be willing to commit to the Inquisition? Hmm. Why even ask? Yeah. Because a leader needs such information to make informed decisions. My family has ties across Lower Ferelden. Our presence in Orlais is recent, which is why I resorted to subterfuge. We have militia elsewhere, and they can be made expendable for your purposes. Three, two, freaking done! <laughs> oh. Uh, now, what was the point of that? Ooh. Mother puss bucket. 
freaking bastard shite bag. Oh, face. oh, oh, God. Eat it, you lophead son of an arse nut rot Sarah, of piece of... Sarah. Uh, what? That was actually sort of an interesting turn of events because she, she was warning me that she wanted the conversation cut short, but I, I just brushed it off and she did cut it short. I wasn't going to ally with him. I wasn't going to even take him into the Inquisition. He's done. You're done. Relax. It's over. Piss head. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Well, that ended a little bit more violently than expected. Is that it? That was a short one. What? What do you want? Because I'm still angry. Angry face. And you should thank me for stomping the smile off that ass. He was getting in your head. No, he wasn't. I was just asking him because we could. Okay, I, I don't like any of these options. I don't like any of them. But which one is the closest to what I'm feeling? <laughs> None of them, really. Hmm. But I, I have... I don't have any qualms about apologizing even when I feel like I don't need to. I did what I thought was best. It wasn't ideal, and I apologize. What? Really? Really. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. <laughs> I don't... I don't dislike Sarah. I don't, but I, I'm at the point where I'm gonna not play around anymore. Mm. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. In general, though, I think more mellow people mesh a little bit better with me, personally, <laughs> and people like Sarah or even Iron Bull, they were taking it way too damn fast, <laughs> especially Iron Bull. One new point. We... Oh, I don't even know, man, like these points. We can keep adding in to the, um, the stuff here. Barriers, auras getting improved. I think revival is honestly not worth it. You can just walk over there and... Oh, but it can get multiple people at once, right? But hopefully you'll never be in a position where multiple people need to be revived at the same time. Anything else in the lightning? I've been kind of going ham on the this whole damn tree here. You use your staff's energy to fill the area with sympathetic magic. Each basic attack shortens your active cooldown times. Whoa, that seems really good too. All right. Well, that was a little bit of a short thing with Sarah. I thought it might be a little bit longer, but we did have the prank thing before. Love seeing you, yeah? Hmm. 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 Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. The praying's nice, I suppose. Carifi's bit, mm. though. It's the same as before. Shite. So you like to have fun? The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? Maybe you'll be fun, yeah? And to help people. No, she enjoys having fun, but she joined us because she wanted to help people to begin with. That was her initial reason. It's starting to sound like you're looking for something more. It is. Mostly. Okay, fine. There's talk and... I want to see. See what? I don't know. I just... I've got all this Chantry stuff in my head, and it makes sense, right? Ooh. But it's fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. No, I think it's great that you have a personal reason for being here. It's much stronger than stuff like, I want to save people, like some morally just altruistic reason. Personal reason. That's, that's a good one. That's why stuff like the Fade shook her up so much. Because that stuff really makes people question everything. 
Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsol and Vichel? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. Well, I, I didn't like him, but you don't have to immediately kill people you don't like. Sometimes they could be useful later. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? It helped make a dead idiot. That's good return for time. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. Yeah, I think there is a similarity in what we do. I get it. Kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. It's you that's weird. I kind of like it. Surprised to me too, yeah? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Dunno. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, red is scary because... blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, yeah? An even spread is all it takes. Look, the stuff Sarah says. She understands things very well. She does. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? Who cares? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Why Important should it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. Yeah, I agree. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Although, yeah, we have similarities, Red Jenny, you know, we're all trying to better the lives of people around here, <laughs> vaguely putting it. But, of course, Sarah's way of doing things is very mm, abrasive and not suitable for, like, an official organization like the Inquisition. But there is a time and place for all these things. The left hand remembers a knife slipped to her in the darkness and wonders why the flower blooms. What does that mean? How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Okay. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guest? I don't eat. <laughs> well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. Yes. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. He saw me. They all see me. Hmm. How do you feel about that? That's more of what I want to know. I'm glad you've allowed them to. I don't know if I did. I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I <laughs> Cole? I told you about Reese, the mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she. Are you remembering all these things? Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. 
If you don't let anyone in, they can't hurt you. You're laughing at yourself. Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? You can change your mind whenever you want to. Like, this is not something that should be set in stone. You can try it out and be like, you know what? This isn't working out for me. I'm just gonna do something else now. That's... No one else knows what you want. You're the only person who will be affected by your own choices. So you really shouldn't put too much bank on what, uh, what the rest of us want for you. It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? Whatever you want. That seems like the beginning to something new. Maybe we'll see more later on. It's made from people. Soylent Green? <laughs> May I ask how things are, now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats. But... I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. You're still able to sense the feelings of others, aren't you? Yes, I still feel things. Flashes of their minds. Pain, hurt, all of it. It's not so loud anymore. I make more noise myself, so I don't hear as much unless I want to. I remember more things, though. It lets me learn. I sometimes see why something I said would bother Cullen. Mm. Maybe I'll do it less. He's understanding new things. Can you still help people if you can't make them forget? It's harder. I can't start over if I do it wrong. But seeing me changes them. They know a person wants them to hurt less. That helps. I think that way of doing things might be better anyway. I, I don't know about the ethics behind erasing someone's memory. Even if it is to make them feel better later on. Like, that part seems a bit... Eh. What's the difference between you and a spirit now? Spirits are... They just are. Most of them sense something that interests them and stick to it. They don't remember much. It keeps them pure, but it also keeps them from learning, from growing. I wanted to help people, but I only knew enough to do it in the simplest way. Now I can see more. I also want to hit people a lot. Varric is helping with that. <laughs> so, uh, learning a lot of new things rapidly. Are you still physically the same, or are you fully human? I was always fully human. I can do everything I could do before, except make people forget. The way I move comes from my mind, not my body. As long as I remember some of the fade, it remains. My body is just like the real Coles, except that he was a mage. I'm not. Why aren't you a mage? I can't know for sure. But the real Cole, his father beat him, killed his mother. His sister might have died, too. I don't know if that was real or what the demon made me think. Then the Templars threw Cole in darkness and starved him, all because he had magic. He thought that if he didn't have magic, I'm what he wanted to be. Him, but normal. So no one would hurt him. Oh, normal. Using the word normal to describe that. Do you want to be your own person then? Because it, it feels... if You are what Cole, the real Cole, wanted to be, but you're not Cole. Do you want to be someone else? Why can't you make people forget you anymore? Because I'm real. The forgetting was for both sides. They weren't frightened by me, and I wasn't hurt by them. 
Making people forget was a defense against people attacking me and having what they saw in me stick. Because I'm real, everything sticks. Whatever people think or feel about me stays. Scary, isn't it? I'll talk to you later. If you like. You can't save scum anymore. <laughs> well, keep at it. Let me know how you deal with everything. I think it'll be interesting to know. Shite, he's wrong. Dead-eyed crazy, shite. I called him a him. Is he alive? Is everything alive? Shite, I hate raisins. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about the odd things he's been doing, but I guess that's not even a thing anymore. At least for now. I'll talk to you later. If you like. Yeah, I will. I think I will. Whew. Sometimes just doing all this in a row brings into perspective how many crazy party members we have around here. Are you doing... Uh, hi, Bull. How are you? Damn, these are good. Are these nuts or seeds or whatever? They're good. Oh, wow, we still have a chance. Bull, you were coming on a little bit too hard with the whole... Like sex at the first meeting, kind of thing. Okay, we, we need to go like step by step. I, I'm, I'm, this is just too wild for me. Um, see you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Can we get married into? Your singing is very beautiful, but I'd rather talk to Bo when you're not singing. She's standing too close. Oh. <laughs> I'll I'll come back when she's not singing, okay? Because I find it a little bit distracting. I can barely hear myself think. Oh, Scout Harding, how are you? I wondered why all Skyhold seems suddenly brighter. Why? Because you're around? What's been going on? Just relaxing. Taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. Yeah, you're right. I have to go. Go in and have a drink with me sometime. That'd be good. Inquisitor. Is she done? Thank you, Meriden. Thank you. Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. Okay, you think everyone's giving you signals. I don't trust your word anymore. <laughs> okay. I'd like to hear more about the charges. They're good. Riding high after we hit those Venatori. Glad they made it out alive, too. What do you want to know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to. How did you start the group? It's easy to make a name for yourself as a merc when you're a head taller than most folks. I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed with me, so we split off. I imagine Fisher disagreed. <laughs> he came at me. I snapped his sword in half, and we talked things out over drinks. I'd like to know more about Krem. He's a good soldier, and a better second in command. The troops need someone to complain to when I'm being a hard ass. He's good for that. Iron Bull is a very capable leader. That's always the impression I've got. Oh my god, are we... Are we still on about this? You don't have any problems with him being a woman. He's not a woman. Look, I've got horns, you've got pointy ears, and those freaky big elf eyes. <laughs> We're probably not the best people to go around deciding what's normal. Krem's a good man. I don't give a nug's ass that it's a little harder for him to piss standing up. Yeah, I mean, we already went over this before. We, Inquisitor, did you lose your memory? You don't have a problem with him being from Tavinta. Actually, I think we had these conversations before. But you hate the Vints. Sure, I vaguely remember but it. He's not a Vint. He's just Krem. I can get worked up about a group or a nation just fine, but people. It's too much work to hate them one by one. Okay, yeah, they're repeating. Maybe that's why it's being brought up again. I see, I see. You have people from plenty of different backgrounds in your group. Yes, well, when you're in Orle and you look like me, you can't be picky about who you take in. A lot of them got turned away from other companies that didn't want a knife here, or a crazy dwarf. Their loss. You get my back in a fight and carry your own weight, you're good with me. No, I actually think that's even better. Because when you have a diverse group of people, you have more viewpoints and you have less blind spots. What are the craziest jobs you've ever taken? Besides this one, <laughs> there's a lot of violence between the nobles here. 
but that's standard work. The fun stuff is when they party. They always want to impress each other, and that means getting something shiny. We've hunted weavens, fought through caves to find some old magical crap. Even when giant baiting once. Oh yeah, like the one we saw in Storm Coast. What's giant baiting? So this old guy, Comte Van Chess, has some kind of a pageant planned. But he needs a giant, which is off in some damn cave. He's got some kind of rare charm to control the giant, but no way he's going into that cave himself. So we go in, kill some spiders, find the giant, and wake it up. It attacks us because of course it does. And we <laughs> let the big bastard chase us outside where Van Chess is waiting. Did the charm work? That was actually your plan, to let a giant chase you. Yeah, we had to stay out of reach, but close enough that it wouldn't give up. It was tricky. Good news is the giants are slow. Long as my guys ahead could clear out the spiders, we were fine. Bad news is the giant spider webs slow you down a bit more than you think. But at least Comte Van Chess got his giant for the pageant. Eh, turned out that charm was a phony. <laughs> giant ate the poor guy alive. It's okay, though. We still got paid. <laughs> Who paid you? Was it advance payment? See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. A noble can be rich, but you can't make them smarter. Your worship? I think we're good. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any ideas, I'll let you know. We just did the previous one. We'll talk later. All right. Got some nice conversations here. I think if that's it then... Okay, look. Black Wall, we just gotta go to those maps. Cassandra, we just gotta go to those maps. And then... Dorian, we just gotta go to those maps. Josephine. Smuggler letters, we just gotta go to those maps. So the other ones are basically collecting stuff in the maps and we have just one more bigger, what do you call it, like a companion quest left, which means I think we should go to Val Royale basically, like, right now. But, Josephine did finish her war mission earlier. We will put her on something else before we head out. Hey, Cassandra. How, how's life? Hello again. How's life? Do you have any advice for me? Now that the Grey Warden threat is dealt with, we must investigate the assassination plot. Oh, One yeah. One can only hope it's not too late. More chaos in Ole only helps Corypheus. I think... I think Corypheus already took over the entire Orle. That's how long I've been taking with the other crap. <laughs> Do you have any advice for me? Nothing I can think of. No. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. And we even know about your brother now. It means I have no use for you anymore. Especially since you turned me down. Huh. Alright. War table. Let's go. Josephine, please tell me you did that job right. Find source of darkspawn attacks. Inquisitor, Ambassador Montelier's advice was sound. We discovered that Marquis Ephiloch Buffon has been mining the area illegally, which freed the darkspawn from beneath the earth. When discovered, the Marquis attacked us with mercenaries. The Grey Wardens fought off the ambush. Marquis Buffon has fled into the Gamordian Peaks. The Grey Wardens have taken losses, but their morale remains high, and their loyalty to the Inquisition is undisputed. Good, good, good. Forging an alliance. That sounds like a Josephine thing. Lady Tybalt asking for closer ties and access to trading partners as she tries to circumvent the traditional blockages of the allegiances in the capital. Some houses have switched sides, others ceded holdings entirely to avoid the shame of officially losing all standing. More and more, they are concerned with station and alliance over whatever objections they stated about the Inquisition. This is a continuation one, right? I remember Lady Tybalt. Liliana support her indirectly, but so that Chris others... Has had no further trouble with the undead. After Good. what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. They have to elect a new mayor. Support her so that others don't know about us supporting her. This is escalating it. Colin is sending soldiers. We gain her trust with alliances, Josephine. If we are willing to continue the relationship, it is only fitting that we strengthen those ties. I think that makes sense. Inquisitor. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good. 